Japan's Mount Fuji might erupt, Japan's love affair with robots continues, and Japan kind of hates vaginas. For real, though. In case you haven't figured it out, today's dispatch is the Japan edition. Konnichiwa. Like a noble current event samurai, I promise to disembowel myself in a ritualistic manner should I offend you. And seeing as that was a little racist, I'll go get my tanto or short blade right now. News seppuku. First up in Japan, scientists confirmed that Mount Fuji, or Fujisan, as it's known in the land of the rising sun, is in a critical state. As if Japan needs any more disasters, especially from its most emblematic landmark. Scientific researchers now confirm that the extreme geological activity from 2011's magnitude 9 tremor has subsequently increased pressure under Mount Fuji, making it more prone to erupt. Shit. You guys remember that earthquake, right? It's the one that caused the tsunami and then the nuclear meltdown in Fukushima that killed almost 20,000 people? What a fucking nightmare. Oh, and by nightmare, I mean real life. Hey, just curious, what's the Japanese word for lucky rabbit's foot? Because right now they need one the size of a, well, really fucking huge rabbit's foot. Things are stable for the moment, and regardless of the outcome, a data reading procedure and evacuation plan will likely minimize any damage or casualties. Thank Christ. Still, one seismologist was quoted as saying, are you fucking kidding me right now? Next up in Japan, robots. I'm not saying I believe in karma, but if I did, I might suggest that the cosmos hates robots, because Japan keeps making better and better ones. And by better and better, I mean creepier and creepier. Honda Asimo has been in the news for almost 15 years, but now he can run at 5.6 miles per hour, climb stairs, recognize people, and predict human behavior. You know, like a bone-crushing mechanical psychic. But please, in the name of all that is holy, stop doing stuff like this. As physical interaction is the simplest form of communication available to human children, at the very least, it's nightmare fuel. At worst, it will be the end of us. Oops, almost forgot. Asimo can also make mixed drinks. That's fun. So he'll be able to kick back and unwind after a long day of crushing human skulls. Last up, Japan actually hates vaginas. I know, I was surprised too. But it looks like they do. They actually hate vaginas. Japanese artist Megumi Igarishi is behind bars this week for trying to crowdfund her latest project, a seafaring vagina kayak. To clarify, that's a kayak shaped like labia, not a floating device for your lady business. Police intercepted 3D printed models of Igarishi's vagina and then arrested her saying it was obscene. She nicknamed her vagina shaped kayak, the Pussy Boat, and has a vested interest in demystifying real femininity in Japan. She just wants to make pussy more casual. And yes, that's an actual quote. She also has a pussy lampshade, a remote controlled pussy car, and a pussy smartphone case, which I kind of want. The irony of a country like Japan being deeply offended by the human vagina, but totally okay with soiled panty vending machines and child porn up until two seconds ago is lost on no one. Come on, Japan, you're a great nation. We love you. You've brought us countless scientific advancements. You've brought us sushi and George Takei. You're better than this. So more vagina kayaks and less robots. And seriously, good luck with that volcano. I'm pulling for you. That's it for the dispatch. Remember to like and share. I'm Mark, and let's pretend we're texting. Red bearded mask emoji, sideways glancing eyes, smiling turd, Edward Munchcat.